Pastor Ed here with Daily Devotions for Friday, August the 16th, 2024. Our reading for our devotions today is actually from the Old Testament this time, from 2 Samuel uh, chapter 7, the first 11 verses, and then also verse 16. Now when the king, David, was settled in his house, and the Lord had given him rest from all his enemies around him, the king said to the prophet Nathan, See, now I'm living in a house of cedar, but the ark of God stays in a tent. Nathan said to the king, Go, do all that you have in mind, for the Lord is with you. But that same night the word of the Lord came to Nathan, Go and tell my servant David, thus says the Lord, Are you the one to build me a house to live in? I have not lived in a house since the day I brought up the people of Israel from Egypt to this day, but I have been moving about in a tent and a tabernacle. Wherever I have moved about among all the people of Israel, did I ever speak a word with any of the tribal leaders of Israel whom I commanded to shepherd my people of Israel, saying, Why have you not built me a house of cedar? Now therefore thus you shall say to my servant David, Thus says the Lord of hosts, I took you from the pasture from following the sheep to be the prince over my people Israel, and I have been with you wherever you went, and have cut off all your enemies from before you, and I will make for you a great name, like the name of the great ones of the earth. And I will appoint a place for my people Israel, and I will plant them, so that they may live in their own place and be disturbed no more, and evildoers shall afflict them no more as formerly. From the time that I appointed judge over my people Israel, and I will give you rest from all your enemies. Moreover, the Lord declares to you that the Lord will make you a house. Your house and your kingdom shall be made forever before me, your throne shall be established forever. Home ownership uh, is kind of the theme uh, today. I was reminded of the HGTV uh, television show, the cable network uh, House Hunters. Uh, there's a number of uh, varieties. I didn't realize it's been on since 1999, and there's well over 250 episodes or around 250 episodes uh, all uh, already. And the concept of it, of course, is that would-be home buyers uh, look at three homes and then they have to choose one. And there have been, as I say, numerous spin-offs. Um, the main one these days is House Hunters International, but there's My Lottery Dream Home to Beachfront, Lakefront, Bargain Hunt to Mexico, Bahamas, Island Life. They all kind of follow the same format, which is basically this. In the first segment, we're introduced to the homeowners and we learn what they want in a house and how these wants clash either with each other or those uh, a, a relative involved in the purchase. We meet the real estate agent who may or may not be a friend or relative who explains how the buyer's desires and budget mesh with the local housing market and then they tour the first house. And then there's a second segment where there's more informational, more personal information that's shared uh, about the home buyers and the second house is toured. In the third segment, still more information about the home buyer is revealed, and the third house is toured. And usually, if you've watched any of these, and I've watched far too many, one of the spouses tends to be more critical than the other one, and it's criticizing everything. Um, and then there's a final segment where the buyers discuss which house to buy among uh, themselves or with their agent. Um, there's usually a moment where we've chosen and they go to a commercial you know and you sit there and you wait for 15 commercials and then they come on uh and then the final there's a final doorbell cue uh and there's an epilogue filmed either a few weeks or months later in which the purchased house is revealed and the people say uh how happy they are uh with the choice i remember i've been a homeowner uh, twice in my life and the way things are looking probably never again um it was a good experience. I've owned two homes. First was a great experience. The second one, not so much. Uh, but I remember we built our first home. And I remember at lunch, driving over from church with, with my bag lunch and, and watching the construction going on. And we're very proud. And of course, home ownership um, is, uh, signifies that, that kind of one has arrived. Um, it's getting more and more difficult to do that, of course. But uh, traditionally, uh, it's a sign of economic uh, success. You've stepped up in the world and the social ladder. You've achieved a kind of success uh, that you own uh, the space where you live. And you, you kind of, because that's so prevalent in our lives, our society, we, 
we sort of expect God to share those values. Um, so it comes as kind of a surprise in 2 Samuel, in that passage that I just read to you, that God not only rejects David's um, dream or desire to build him a house, but that God has an entirely different approach uh, to his own dwelling place. In, the, in essence, the Lord is at home with us, with his people. And how appropriate we know from the Gospel of Matthew that Jesus came to be Emmanuel, God with us. And he lived out that theme here on earth. Born in a stable, Jesus once said, Foxes have holes and birds of the air have nests, but the Son of Man has nowhere to lay his head. Matthew 8, verse 20. This traveling teacher had supper with his friends in a borrowed upper room. He was buried in another man's grave. Um, in that Old Testament passage in the life of Jesus, uh, we have this promise of a heavenly home for the people of God. And I was also reminded that the book, the Bible, ends on a similar note, Revelation 21, verses 3 through 4. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, See, the home of God is among mortals. He will dwell with them as their God. They will be his peoples, and God himself will be with them. He will wipe every tear from their eyes. Death will be no more. Mourning and crying and pain will be no more, for the first things have passed away. Homeownership is pretty important in this life, at least. Um, David found out it wasn't so important to God. It was more important to God to dwell with his people. Let us pray. Creator of the universe, we praise you for choosing to be at home with your people. Amen. Well, have a great day. Looking forward to being with you one more time this week, uh, tomorrow. Till then, take care. Bye.